Welcome again to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. In the last two programming classes, uh, we introduced uh, Python and some basic tools of how to read and process sounds. In this class, I want to introduce uh, the SMS tools, which are the Python tools uh, that uh, we have developed for this class and the ones that we will really go through and, uh, and try to understand uh, quite uh, deeply. SMS comes from Spectral Modeling Synthesis and that's a name that I gave uh, to this type of tools a long time ago and uh, so it got stuck and that's what I use. So these tools uh, are uh, available from GitHub which is an online repository of software which is a great uh, tool and a great community of people. Um, so a lot of the software initiatives, free software initiatives uh, are, are using this, uh, this repository. So in this, uh, the SMS tools, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, go through that and you will see several directories. Um, in the lectures, uh, you will see the, the slides of the theory lectures and the code that I use for uh, all the plots uh, from the slides, so that might be good for you. Uh, in the software, that's uh, where I'm going to focus now, and then there is uh, sounds, uh, so where all the sounds uh, that I use in class are stored, and, and then uh, a workspace uh, for you to work from, uh, etc. So if we open the, the, the software uh, directory, here you will see uh, the main uh, uh, software uh, for the course. So these are the models, the software models that we will be using. And in here you will have the, the DFT, the harmonic model, the STFT, etc. All the models that we will be talking quite a bit in class. And uh, code to apply transformations uh, to these models. And then the interfaces are the, the functions and the files that are used to call these models. So this is going to be the, the functions that we will be executing. Okay, and then... Um, if we go back uh, here, there is this README file that uh, describes basically how to install it. Uh, the first thing uh, it tells is that, of course, we need Python 2.7, that we need to install all these packages we already did in uh, lecture one, and then that we need to compile uh, the C functions. There is some C functions that we need to compile. Okay, so in order to do all that, the first thing we have to do is to download the, the a zip file with all these. So if we click uh, download, it will just uh, create a zip file and it will uh, save it uh, locally. So uh, I already have done that. So we have now, if we open uh, the terminal in the home directory, I have uh, SMS Tools Master, which is the directory I have created with all this content. So if I go to the SMS uh, Tools Master, um, I have the same content that I have uh, here in, in GitHub. Okay, And if we continue following the README file, what it tells me is that I need to compile this, uh, execute this command. So let me copy the command. And I have to go to the directory software models util functions underscore c. Okay, so I need to go to the software models util functions. And I have to uh, execute uh, this command. Okay, and uh, I already did it, so it's uh, already uh, compiled. You should not have any problem with that. Okay, so basically we are ready. Uh, now, um, I mean, if we don't want to go too much into coding, we can just execute the interfaces, as it says here, that we presented in, the, in another class, in a demo class, so we can execute the model GUI or the transformation GUI. Uh, but now what I want to do is to go into the models uh, directory. Um, and here is where the core uh, models uh, that we will be um, studying are included. So let's open one of them from uh, text editor. So we, we have the gedit and then let's go into, for example, into the software, into the models 
and let's for example go to into the sign model okay so sign model um, is uh, one of the models uh, that basically analyzes sound as if it was a sum of sinusoids and in this code uh, we have uh, at the beginning of course uh, importing the packages that we need and then it has a set of functions so uh, like uh, different functions that implement different aspects of this sinusoidal model okay let's focus into one of them for example let's focus on to this uh, sign model anal this is the the function that this uh, from an input which are all these are the input parameters the main one being the input sound as an array and the control parameters that uh, we need to have uh, to, to uh, decide what analysis to perform okay it performs a whole bunch of, of things it iterates over the whole sound and it returns three variables which are basically the frequencies the magnitudes and the phases of all the sinusoids included in this sound okay so these are big metrics that uh, uh, store all this information and all this is explained in this uh, introductory uh, text this common in which it tells us what it does the input parameters and the returning values okay but to call this function we use another uh, file so we go to the interface models interface directory and here we will find the sign model function and this is the function that we actually call in order to perform the sinusoidal analysis okay so this is a, a file that again has it imports the, the set of packages and then it has one single function which is called main and then in order for being able to execute this file and not having to call the function there is this uh, command here that basically says that when we execute the file it should execute the function main so by default when we just execute this file it will run this function and all the input parameters have uh, default values so it has a uh, input file as a default value and it has all the other uh, parameters as default values of course we can go in here and modify all these values and then within that it performs all the steps for the sinusoidal analysis it reads the sound file okay and then it gets an analysis window it performs a short time for your transform then it performs a sign model anal. This is the function that we just saw. So uh, it, uh, it it has gotten all the um, values and variables from all this execution beforehand, and uh, so we can just call the function, and it returns these uh, three uh, variables that store the frequencies, magnitudes, and phases of the sinusoids and then we can synthesize the, the sound back okay and then we can write the sound again as an output file by the way this uh, way of reading and writing the sound files is a function a wrapper to the scipy that I uh, talked about and in fact if we go to this uh, utility functions that are in within the models we can uh, go to the this function the read and write uh, sound uh, file the WAF read and the WAF write and basically it just reads the input sound as we had done in the previous class but what it does now is it normalizes it converts to a floating point number and it normalizes to a value from 1 to minus 1 which is kind of the convention 
to uh, deal with sounds as floating point numbers going from minus one to one. And in writing the file, we have to undo the process. So we have to uh, create the integer, the 16-bit numbers back. Okay, so that's an overview of basically what this uh, file uh, does. And we can execute it. So we can go to the, uh, the interface, uh, models interface page, and we can just type Python, and we can type this uh, sign model uh, function. And what this will do is we'll execute this main file, and it will write um, a sound file. Where it will write it? Well, the first thing it will uh, do is to plot the analysis result. Okay, and uh, this is the, the was the display of the input file, and this is the analysis result, and this is the output file. And basically, it has written uh, a sound file into a directory called output sounds within this directory. So if we look here, if we type ls, there is a directory called output sounds that has, if we type ls output sounds, it has this uh, bendir underscore sign model, which is the resulting file. Okay, so to play that, we just type play, and we just put output sounds, and we just bendir. Okay, so this is the synthesized sound that uh, we have generated from this analysis synthesis. Okay. Of course, this can be done within IPython. So if we type IPython and we are within the interactive uh, mode, we also can execute this file by typing run and we just type run sign model and the function. And it will do the same thing. It will uh, execute that function, um, and then it will display the result, and it will save the sound file. Okay. The advantage of running it within IPython is that if there is an error, uh, or uh, we can really want to uh, explore the intermediate steps of the function, we can do it. We can run a debugger, etc., etc. So that's going to be quite useful for us. Okay, and that's uh, basically all I wanted to mention. Uh, so uh, in this uh, class, what uh, we have uh, gone through is uh, explanation of the SMS tools, which is uh, hosted uh, within GitHub. So feel free to uh, go there and uh, download it and install it. In order to install it, the only thing we had to do, apart from the previous installation we did, was to uh, compile the, the C functions with Cyton. And uh, briefly today, uh, we just uh, describe uh, one of the models uh, that uh, we're going to be uh, analyzing, which is the sign model. Uh, we have executed and we have uh, seen how uh, we can uh, analyze and synthesize a sound uh, from it. Okay, so that was it. That was a, a brief uh, overview of uh, what are the SMS tools. And together with the other class, the demo class in which I, I, uh, I went through the, the interface and, and we actually analyze and transform some sounds, I hope uh, you got an idea of uh, what are these tools and the kinds of things that uh, we will uh, learn in class. So thank you very much and I see you next class.